The other day I was playing my first person idle game in Unreal Engine 5 when I suddenly realized This fucking sucks This is a problem we need to solve But first, look at these cool new tricks I can do I can also do this cool thing where I just snap my fingers and I'm totally cool now, bro! <laughs> okay, so what are we doing here? Oh yeah, okay, so my game sucks, right? What do we do? We play games that don't suck, try to figure out why they don't suck, and apply those mechanics to my game. And my game will no longer suck, right? Totally rad! Anyways, the first game I tested was Satisfactory. And a cool thing with this game is that they totally stole my idea for the transmitter and made their own version. So I played for 12 hours straight just to see the animation of their transmitter, or space elevator as they have called it. Look at it, look at it. And after seeing the animation, I realized that this was never about the destination. It was about the road and the friends I made along the way. But mostly about the road, and more specifically how to move from A to B. The feeling of controlling the character in this game feels pretty good, so let's apply that to my game. I want to be able to hold shift and run. Uh, max walk speed, so that's 600. Um, so if we, I don't know, triple it? 1800, is that a lot? I don't know. No. Oh yeah, Whoa, dude, okay this is fast. And jump! Oh fuck! 1200. Also, we are in space. <laughs> Realistically, you would be floating because this is a like medium sized asteroid. Meteorite? Asteroid. One of them. Yeah, I don't want to make the player float out into space. That's not the point. But I want to make him feel floatier. I'll set it to point one. I just want to get a feel of the gravity now. Wow, okay. Okay, so this is a bit much. I do have some air control. But not a lot. Walking, jumping, falling, air control, yeah! 0 0.05. I guess one would be like... Let me feel it. Because I guess it's like one-to-one, -one, right? So if I'm midair and trying to go backwards, I'm gonna just instantly start walking backwards. Okay, so that's not, it's not immediate, but it's pretty fast. Air control boost multiplier. When falling, multiplier applied to air control when lateral velocity is less than air control boost velocity threshold. I don't know what that means, so I can just imagine interacting with this one now, running over here and interacting with this, cool. That feels so much better than what I had before, which was pressing this button. Pressing this button. Next game I researched was It Takes Two, which I played together with my dear friend and moderator Ule Shavi. The game itself was pretty fun, but throughout the game there's tons of mini games, which I just couldn't stop dominating my friend in. So that was pretty fun, for me at least. Uh, unfortunately, this is not applicable to my game, uh, since I'm not making a multiplayer game, so I can't apply beating a friend in my game. So you would think that this was a waste of research, but then I looked harder at the footage. And I see a clear pattern. Every time someone or something died in this game, that's what brought the most joy both to me and my friend. Therefore, death must equals funny. And that's something we can apply to my game. Whoa, okay, before we do that, I just wanted to tell you that I have invented a machine that shows the exact number of wish lists for deficiency. And as we see, there are 43 people who have wish listed deficiency. Thanks a lot. And if you are one of the few people that haven't wish listed it, Go ahead and do so. There is a link in the description and while you're down there, why don't you just like, comment, subscribe as well? Huh? Thanks. I want K for kill. So if I press K, destroy actor. Let's test it out. 
I still don't know where I will respawn. Okay. Okay, this is where I'll respawn. But it should now set this transform when I spawn. So I don't need to do this because... Zoop. File, save, cool. So now I spawned. So that transform variable was just set. So when I now... Okay, I'm back here. Cool, so that means that I can actually now just place this wherever. Say up here, I'll press play. Whoa, I go down here and I just kill myself. And I spawn up here, cool. Cool, okay, but I, I wonder how hard is it if, because if I press K, it would be kind of cool to just have a screen, like an overlay, you know, you know, something like this, right? It just feels like a bigger task, but I really want to do it. Uh, why is because uh, I want the generators and stuff to be kind of dangerous. It would be cool if you like died to them if you stood in the wrong space or something. But also, like, just deliveries such as this one should be fucking lethal if you stay under it. Um, and it just doesn't sell to the player that you died if I would stand under this and what would happen is... Oh, I teleported. Cool. It, it, you don't feel that you died just then. So you need some kind of... I need a scream, I think, and I need a... You died. So this is live voice acting, guys. Um, what's my motivation? Like, what do I feel in this scene? <laughs> because I think that's when it kind of it's kind of muted. Um, you have one like a more terrifying one, which will be ah. But I feel that's more of a scare. <laughs> You're being scared instead of. Mm. Okay. It blares my ears, which is probably nice. You like that? <laughs> I, I like the first one. Second one was good, you think so? I think it's way too sharp. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like you are being scared. You're not... This is not... You... Are dying from being crushed by something and this is the last like breath of air y you're being scared ah! <laughs> this one I feel it's more dying because it, it, it the voice dies out is <laughs> stuff like reverb is the classic one isn't it <laughs> like <laughs> where was that guy <laughs> <laughs> Change pitch. Pitch down. <laughs> Was that a bear? <laughs> Whoa. This dude is huge. <laughs> like, this is your gym bro, like, taking a new PB. Where, when, why, how do I play a sound? It's a sound and it's gonna play. I'm gonna play a sound. Play a sound. How do I play a sound? Play sound. Play sound. Anyone? At location? I don't need at location. Let's just do. Is it 2D then? Is that it? Can we just avoid? Scream. Please. Because <clears throat> it doesn't need to be 3D. If you're dying, you're dying. You're dying in place. You're just gonna hear a sound. And the sound we're gonna hear is this sound. Okay, it works. Did you guys hear that? Am I streaming the audio for Unreal Engine? But I don't think I am. No, didn't hear. Yeah, okay. Also, 7.5. You have like your muted thing you're not even listening 
H how can <laughs> how can you say that you didn't hear? You you need to turn on the stream volume first. Hear this. I'm moving. Why am I moving? I shouldn't be moving. Uh, I have a huge problem. Uh, I don't really know UI. Text. You died. The died text needs to be read. 72. Uh, but you can go a bit higher. I mean higher. Like that. And we'll just quick and easy just type res palm. Is this a day for the bug counter? Up until now, zero bugs. I predict now that when I press K, we get the screen. K. We don't get the screen. Awesome. Okay. Fuck yeah. And we will respawn. Yeah. Let's see that this works. Whoo! 360, kill yourself. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we don't respawn. Cool. Awesome. So, if I quick click respawn, nothing happens. Well, <laughs> I think that's a bug. <laughs> so. I die, and does this remove itself when I trick respawn? It does. Okay, cool. If, if there's some like, oh, of course it doesn't work like that, because, oh, this is a game mode blueprint, and like, game mode blueprints can't spawn actors. Everybody knows that. <laughs> if it's something bullshit like that, I'm fucked. I'm gonna be here forever. Yeah, I'm stuck. Step bro, come help me. It's like rock, paper, scissors. It's like the one takes the other, but then the other sucks your... It's so easy. It's <laughs> I'm supposed to respawn when I press a button. One of those days? Yeah, it's one of those days. I, I understand that it's so much to ask for. Um, the fact that this should pop up and when you press respawn, that's when you're supposed to respawn. I understand that I'm a spoiled bitch asking for this functionality, but I think, I think gaming industry, we should invent this, right? This should be a possibility. I believe so. Uh, it's tough for me to be like the engineer that has to like tough through this and like make this possible. But I believe when I make this happen that all other games will also be able to do this. So the actor will not be destroyed now. Now, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Two and a half hours sold in 30 minutes. Don't you hate it? Oh yeah. Another game I want to look into is Cyberpunk 2077, since this was a disaster game when it came out, but has gained in popularity ever since. And the fans are now praising the developers for fixing the game and continuously updating it. But we have a man in the field. Budos, let us know. What are you seeing? Why are people coming back to this game? Is cables piping? Railings, multiple stories. Look up and just see that it keeps going. Um, you're breaking up. C can you please repeat that? Is cables piping? Railings, multiple stories. Look up and just see that it keeps going. Okay, I guess we are adding those.
last time. We got these parts done. And then I said bye. And that I wouldn't be uh, placing these ones out. Just because I didn't think I was in a position where I should. Because I don't know exactly how these machines are going to turn out. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to place these parts. Now I'm going back on it. I want to place those out. That's the first part of the day, is to place all this out and try to fix all that comes with it. The first is the hitbox. Player collision? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't want this. Create only complex shapes per poly. Using shapes for... So this collision is now perfect, but it's like unnecessarily heavy. So I think it just works now. Oh. Yeah, and you see you get the you get the per stair height change. Brrr. I'm gonna call it there for for the stairs and stuff. Um, pipes. All right, let's go lit. Oh, shiny. My game was only getting better and better with each of these additions. However, I still wanted a bit more. Something that truly is fun. So I had to look into one of the greatest games ever. Yes, we are talking 2023 Game of the Year nominee. Lethal Company. You will be a great asset to the company. Great, great asset to the company. Asset. Great, great, great asset to the company. Asset. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> oh fuck the shit, guys! Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Fuck! Holy fucking shit! Take this shit off me! <laughs> I don't see shit! Run, run, run! Just take up, take up! Where's the half? I found it! 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 Shit, I have so many on my face! Just pick up the stop tag! Holy shit! What the f? What the Yeah, it won't happen again. And after running back the footage a couple of times, it's not that hard to see. We need a song and screaming. The only problem is that I have no experience in creating a song whatsoever. But hey, you got me. Come on, let's make a fire track.
Cool. Let's play. <laughs> Fuck yeah, this game is sick now. Efficiency is now way better than when we started, and that's because of me. I think I was the one that did the hard work, but okay. Thanks for watching everyone, it means a lot. And if you want to see this craziness happening live, head on over to Twitch, there's a link in the description. And I will be streaming every Thursday, 17.00 CET. See you there.